Welcome, welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga. Thank you for joining me. Um, today we're going to do a gentle practice, as always, just to feel into the body, working on communicating between our head and the rest of the body um, so that we start to pick up on those cues when our body is giving us signals about stuff we need to pay attention to. Um, so we're going to start on our backs today. So go ahead and find a comfy spot on your back. You can have legs extended or knees bent feet on the floor. Either way is totally fine. Sometimes I like to reach my arms up uh, for the sky and then that kind of lifts my shoulder blades up and then set the shoulder blades back down and then let the arms relax at your side. So your back is nice and <clears throat> flat on the floor. And today I thought we'd start with a little um, breath practice. So we're gonna do our Ujjayi breath today, which um, is sort of like that Darth Vader breath. Um, we're gonna constrict the back of the throat and you're gonna breathe in and out of the nose. <clears throat> and so if you can imagine exhaling as if you're going to like fog up a mirror or a window, <clears throat> you're kind of that, breath where you're constricting the back of the throat, kind of forcing the breath out, but we're going to do it with the mouth closed. So go ahead and start to take an inhale, constricting the throat, and then a long, slow exhale. And do that again, inhaling deep breath, inflating the belly as you inhale. And exhale, soften. So it can also sound sort of like the waves at the beach coming in and out. Okay, so go ahead and let's try, keep, keep breathing with the um, ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling. And each time you exhale, go ahead and let your back relax down a little more. You might find that you're holding tension in the shoulders. Go ahead and relax those down even more. Keep that breath flowing. And don't worry if you don't get the hang of it. You can just take a few breaths instead. Relax the belly, relax the low back. And let's do three more rounds with this breath. Just allowing yourself to come to a stop, right? If you've been, you know, maybe had a busy morning. <clears throat> this is just an opportunity to come to a stop, come into the present moment. So after those three rounds are complete, go ahead and let your breath find its natural rhythm again. And just begin to notice yourself lying on the floor. Notice all the parts of the body that are touching the floor. So the backs of the arms, maybe the backs of the legs, back of the head. Letting yourself sink down deeper into the floor. And now Bringing the awareness to the top of the head, you're gonna scan from the head down to the toes, <clears throat> nice and slow. And you're just noticing any areas that are jumping out at you. So anything, anywhere you're experiencing pain, pressure, tightness, gripping, notice if there's a gripping or tension in the shoulders, the jaw. Sometimes we like to grip and hold on in the belly. The legs, just noticing, and you're just kind of becoming aware of these things, right? We're not trying to change anything. <clears throat> We're just noticing, becoming more aware of the body. Breath is nice and soft. And now bring your awareness into the center of the chest and the belly. And just notice how you're doing. What's your emotional state today? And there's no right or wrong. We're just beginning to become aware 
So maybe you're feeling a little tense. <clears throat> maybe there are some things on your plate that are overwhelming. We're just noticing what that feels like for a moment. And we're breathing into those sensations. So at any time we're experiencing a intense emotion <clears throat> or an intense sensation in the body, what helps to um, move through that is to continue to take deep breaths. So if you're experiencing something intense, go ahead and breathe deeply. And sometimes this is a great opportunity to let go. So maybe there's something that, that is ready to be let go of. You can go ahead and breathe it out. If the tears come, the tears come. And oftentimes that's why we have tension in our hips and shoulders because we're holding on to something emotional in the body. Let's take just a few more deep breaths in this present moment, knowing that in the present moment, we're okay. Whatever is coming up from the past or whatever you're worried about in the future is just far away from you right now. We are just here on our mat in this moment. And letting go of any expectations about our practice today letting go of any expectations of what your body should or shouldn't do. We're just going to be with what is. One more deep breath. And let everything go as you exhale. <sighs> Fabulous. Let's take the legs long, reach the arms overhead, take a nice stretch of the spine. Maybe you point and flex the feet a few times or roll the ankles, waking up the feet. Let's do the same with the wrists, rolling the wrists, wiggling the fingers and the toes. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. If it feels good here, you could rock side to side. And just giving yourself a hug. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna bring the right knee into the chest. Let your left foot find the floor. And you can either keep this leg here or you can extend it out along your mat, depending on how deep a stretch you want. And first, we're going to come into a twist. So we're gonna grab onto this right knee with the left hand, pull it across the body over to the left side, reach the right arm out. And then you can turn your head to look towards your right hand, depending on if that's comfortable for you. We're going to take a couple deep breaths here as we start to warm up the body. <clears throat> and then go ahead and roll back onto the back. And from here, we're going to kick that right leg up towards the sky. Now, again, you might have that left knee bent foot on the floor. You can grab onto anywhere on the back of the right leg. You could grab on here, you could grab on closer to the ankle. Keep both hips glued down to the floor. So if one hip is starting to lift up, see if you can set it back down. And if this knee needs to bend, that's okay too. And you're kind of pulling that leg towards you a little bit, just so we're starting to get that nice deep stretch. The foot is relaxed, so no need to bend or flex the foot. We're just relaxing the foot. You can even shake it a little bit to help it to relax maybe pulling that leg towards you just a little more. And we're breathing deep. So wherever you're feeling the stretch in the back of the leg, breathe nice and deep. One more breath here. And go ahead and bring the knee back into the chest. Let the foot find the floor and bring the left knee into the chest. So we're gonna start with our twist. So again, you can leave that right knee bent or extend it. Grab the knee with the right hand, pull it across the body over to the right side, reach the left arm out. Take the gaze towards the left hand. Couple of deep breaths here.
and roll back onto the back, squeeze that knee into the chest. Now we're gonna kick it up towards the sky. So again, the right leg can be extended or you can have the right knee bent, foot on the floor. Then we're grabbing onto the back of the left leg now. And again, we're gonna relax that foot, pull the leg towards you, breathing nice and deep. Now, if you're way up here and your whole upper back is lifted up off the floor, see if you can lower the back and find a lower spot on the leg to grab onto. So I'm gonna have the back of the body relax down into the floor. A couple more breaths here. And remember, everybody's body is different. So your body, your pose might look a little different from mine. Relax the hips back down into the floor. One more breath here. And then go ahead and bend the knee. Bring both knees back into the chest. We're gonna come into a happy baby. So we're gonna take the knees wide. The elbows come to the inside of the knees. And then we're gonna try and grab onto the feet. You might grab onto the ankles or the pant legs. And you'll grab onto the outside of the ankles or the feet. So the elbows are inside. Hands come to the outside. And we're bending the knees nice and deep. Sinking those knees towards the floor. So you're kind of pulling down with the hands. And then if you're here, if this feels good, you could try rocking side to side. And just begin to notice where you feel this in the body. Maybe this is um, going all the way up into the back. Maybe it's just the hips. Just notice and breathe. <clears throat> and coming to a stop. Bring the knees back into the chest, let the feet find the floor. We're gonna roll to one side and come up to seated. So we'll come up to just a gentle, easy seated pose, sitting up nice and tall. So we wanna sink the um, sit bones down into the floor. And at the same time, we're kind of acting like there's a little thread pulling us up from the top of the head. So you're kind of like sitting or growing in both directions. So your tailbone's reaching down, the top of the head reaching up. Nice, long spine. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. We're going to inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, hands come together down to the heart. Interlace the fingers, press the palms forward, round the upper back, tuck the chin, belly button draws in towards the spine. We're getting a nice stretch through the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float the arms down. Interlacing the hands behind the back. We're gonna pull the hands down towards the floor. So the shoulders are gonna wrap back. And this might be enough of a stretch here, or you might try lifting your hands away from your hips. And then the third variation would be to forward fold, reach the arms up overhead. So a couple different options for you. And then carefully release the hands, shake it out. From here, we're gonna bring the arms up in front, reaching forward. We're gonna take the arms wide as we inhale, press the heart forward, lift the chin. So we're stretching the front of the neck, inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna give ourselves a hug. So you're gonna have one hand come on each shoulder like this, and we're gonna tuck the chin and start to round. So we're drawing the elbows kind of into the belly. Looks like this. Inhale, reach it up and open again. Spread the arms wide, shoulder blades squeeze together. And exhale round. Let's do that one more time. Tucking the chin, curling up and down into a bowl. Inhale, reach the arms wide again. Exhale. This time we're going to take the right arm over the left, bend the elbows, draw the hands together. Eagle arms. Now, if this is unaccessible, you can just come right back here. Lift the elbows up, making them even with the shoulders. Breathe. Imagine that you could breathe into the back of the heart, right in between those shoulder blades. Inhale, spread the arms wide again. Look up. 
and exhale, eagle arms, other side, left arm on top this time, bend the elbows, draw the hands together, lift the elbows up, breathe. One more breath here. And release the arms, take it wide again. And exhale, hands come to the knees. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna walk the hands forward. So you're gonna start to walk the hands forward. You're going to tuck the chin, start to reach the top of the head for the floor. And again here, if your tailbone starts to lift up, come back a little bit. And you might come, you might come right to here, or you might come way out here. Couple of breaths here. Notice where you feel this. This is probably something happening in one of the hips. Let's walk the arms over to the right. Stack the left hand on top of the right hand. So it looks like this. Couple breaths here. We're getting a nice stretch through the outside of the shoulder blades here. And then let's walk it over to the other side. Right hand on top this time, breathe. You can use that ujjayi breath throughout our practice. That's kind of how, kind of how I like to practice is with my ujjayi breath. And I even close my eyes because I feel like that feels good, but whatever feels good to you. <clears throat> and come back to center go ahead and carefully, slowly walking yourself back up. And now we're going to switch the cross of the legs and do that on the other side. So first we're gonna walk it forward, tuck the chin, let the head sink down. So now we're getting the other hip involved. And then we'll walk both hands to the left, stack the right hand on top. We're feeling it all through the right side of the body. <clears throat> and walk it to the other side, left hand on top now. And come back to center and slowly walking yourself back up. Ah, sitting up nice and tall. Take a breath, let it go. All right. So from here, we're going to come on to hands and knees. Starting with a little bit of cat cow. So you want to make sure your knees are right underneath the hips. And then the hands will go right underneath the shoulders. And if this is uncomfortable on your wrists, walk the hands forward. A little bit and that will give you take a little bit of that pressure off we want to rotate the arms so if you're here you want to rotate this upper arm so that the little creases of the elbow shine forward and then the fingertips are pointing towards the top of your mat and then we're going to start to drop the belly lift the tailbone lift the chin and then we're going to round so we're going to draw up through the belly button Reaching the belly button like it's going to touch the ceiling. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, drop the belly. Heart shines forward. And exhale, round. Really push down into the hands as you round the back. So you're really spreading the shoulder blades. Let's do that one more time. And round. Come back to your neutral spine. From here, we're going to reach the right arm up towards the sky opening up through the heart so really see if you can shine that heart towards the sky and then we're going to thread the needle so reach the right arm underneath the left right shoulder right ear come to the floor and then the left hand can walk to the top of your mat if you like or you can also wrap the left hand around the lower back and kind of tuck it into that spot at the waist just different options Whatever feels good in your body. <clears throat> Remember we were just keeping it simple and not doing anything that hurts or is uncomfortable. Well, okay, uncomfortable is okay. <laughs> but nothing that hurts. <clears throat> all right, and then drawing the left hand back in close to the face, you're gonna push into the left hand, come all the way up, reach the right arm up towards the sky again. And then bring the right hand down, <clears throat> other side, left arm reaches up. As you exhale, bring the left hand underneath the right arm, left shoulder, left ear to the floor. That right hand can stay where it is. You can walk it to the top of your mat, or you can tuck it around behind the low back. 
remember in this pose, <clears throat> we're twisting. So we want to twist through the upper back. So we're kind of rotating the ribs towards the sky. One more breath here. And draw the hand back in close to the face. And press up to all four. Oops, we forgot. But one more. The left arm reaches up to the sky. And then bring it back down. Perfect. All right, so from here, we're going to kick the right leg back, bending the knee, flexing the foot. And we're going to do some circles with this knee. So you want to originate these circles right from the hip. So we're going to bring the knee down towards the floor and then circle it around. So the knee, like if you could draw a circle with your knee. Let's do one more this way. And then we'll go back the opposite way. So swing it around, kick it back, up, around, and down. Last one. Fabulous. Now we're going to kick that leg all the way back, cross it behind your back foot, and set the toes down. So from the back, <clears throat> it looks like this. And from here, we're going to peek around your left shoulder, look back at your toes. And then go ahead and bring the head back around to front and come back to all fours. Let's try the other side. So kick. Uh, keeping the left knee bent this time, draw the knee down towards the floor and then up, back, around and down. So we're drawing circles with the left knee. One more circle this way and then we'll switch directions. Up, around and down. And it doesn't matter what your circles look like. We're just moving into the body here. All right, now kick the leg all the way back, cross the toes, set the toes down, peek around your right shoulder, look back at your toes. And bring the head back around, bring the knee back in. Let's do one more cat-cow, inhale up and exhale. Great, so from here, we're gonna make our way into puppy pose. And this can be a, um, intense pose, but we're going to just take it one step at a time. And um, you're only going to do what feels good in your body. So puppy pose, we'll start by bringing the forearms down and you want to reach the um, tailbone up towards the sky. So if you're kind of like here, see if you can untuck the tailbone, reach the tailbone up. So we have a little bit of um, bend in the upper back. So this is level one. If you want to take it to level two, three, you walk your hands out, come up onto the tips of the fingers, and then start to let your heart sink down towards the floor. And this is level two, three. So if that feels too intense, come back to level one and just breathe. So either way is perfectly fine. One more breath here. And then whether you're on your elbows or not, come back to the elbows. We're gonna slide the chest forward and start to bring the belly down to the floor. Now we wanna have the elbows right underneath the shoulders. So if you're here, see if you can walk those elbows forward so that you have this nice right angle on the elbow and the elbows right underneath the shoulder. Fingers are spread wide. We've got the, um, sorry, the low belly kind of pressing down into the floor. Tops of the feet are pressing down into the floor. And then from here, we're gonna push down into the elbows so that the shoulders start to lift up. And then, but we, we wanna keep the shoulders away from the ears. So we push down into the forearms, the shoulders lift and now the head lifts as well. Press down into the low belly. This is a stretch for our low back. And breathe. Sphinx pose. Breathe. And from here, we're going to bring the left hand across in front of the body, bend the right knee, and then reach back with the right hand. And you might not be able to grab anything, you might be able to grab your pant leg or you might be able to grab your foot. So whichever the case, you wanna rotate that arm so that the palm faces out. 
and then bring the head back around to face forward. And then if you have your foot here, you can kick your foot into your hand and that kind of pulls the whole body back towards the back of the mat. So just in intensifies the stretch. Totally not necessary, but just an option. And then go ahead and bring that foot closer to the glutes. So we're getting a stretch to the front of the thigh. Pushing down into the foot. And then release. Let's try the other side. So come back to your Sphinx pose. Bring the right hand across to balance in front. Bend the left knee. Reach back with the left hand. Again, you might be here. You might grab your pant leg or you might grab your foot. So again, rotate the, the arm so that the palm faces out, grabbing onto that foot. And then if it feels good here, you can push the foot into the hand, kick back. We're stretching the shoulder and breathe. I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring, but <laughs> I put him to sleep, I guess. <laughs> and then maybe kick the foot down towards the glute, push down, stretching the uh, front of the thigh. One more breath here and then release. Come back to your Sphinx pose. Now we're gonna lower the heart down to the floor, slide the hands back underneath the shoulders and push up and back to child's pose. And you can take any version of child's pose that you like. So you can have knees wide or knees together. And if your head doesn't quite comfortably come down to the floor, maybe you try crossing the arms and resting your head on crossed arms. So let the tailbone sink back towards the heels. Find your breath. Maybe you find that Ujjayi breath again. Taking it nice and slow. And then we're gonna to start to lift up into downward facing dog. So we'll reach the arms back out in front, come into your modified plank, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Now push into the hands, lifting the hips as high as they'll go. Keep pushing into the hands like you're pushing the floor away from you. Reaching the hips up as high as they'll go. And then the knees can be bent here. Right? We always think we have to have straight legs, but actually we get a better stretch in the back if we have bent knees. So try with bent knees first, bringing the belly towards the thighs, and then let's pedal the feet. So straighten one leg, keep one leg bent, and switch sides. Moving around in whatever way feels good here. So go ahead and just move around, kind of feeling into this pose. <clears throat> and then we're going to walk the feet up to the hands and again keeping the knees really nice and bent this is really going to be a great stretch for your back if you can keep the knees nice and bent you can kind of imagine curling yourself up into a ball let the head hang let the arms hang you can keep the knees nice and bent and this is decompressing the spine all right, so we're gonna roll up really, really slow. Push down through the feet, let the upper body still hang. And we're rolling up one vertebra at a time. And your head is the very last thing to come up. Ah, mountain pose. So find your mountain pose. Relax the shoulders. And we're just gonna bounce for a sec. So just bounce. It kind of helps to get rid of anything that's like stuck or holding on in the body. And the nice thing is you're at home. So like, no one cares if you look like a weirdo. <laughs> Let us bounce, shake it out. All right, and then come to a stop. Find yourself in mountain pose, check in with your feet. What does it feel like to stand here? Check in with the body, check in with the breath. Check in with the thoughts. So what are, you, what are your thoughts telling you? Are, you? are they telling you, oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. I don't want to be here. Just check in. And you're just noticing. We're not, we're not giving these thoughts any 
um, energy or, or attention or anything. We're just kind of noticing like a little cloud. It's going to kind of come in and then float back out. All right, that's where my thoughts are. <laughs> and then bringing the hands to the shoulders, draw the elbows in together, circling the elbows. Nice big circle, breathe. Maybe you close the eyes here and just tune into what your shoulders feel like today. And let's go the opposite direction. Big circles. Last one. And now let's circle the hips. So take the feet nice and wide, hands come to the hips, soft knees, and we're gonna roll the hips around in a circle. So, um, Think about drawing a circle with your pelvis. So drawing a circle, you might hear a little snap, crackle, pop, like I just did. I don't know if you could hear that in my microphone, but <laughs> it was nice and loud. All right, go the other direction. Keep the knees bent. If you feel like you're circling this way, make sure you come back down into the knees and hips. Last one, all right, and coming to a stop. Fabulous. All right, so we're gonna try a little balance pose. Um, you may want to grab onto a chair or a wall for this pose. Um, I'm gonna show it at the wall so you can um, find the balance if you need it. So feet are um, parallel, toes pointing forward, soft knees. Shift over to the left foot. We're gonna bend the right knee, pick it up. Cross the ankle over the left knee. So keep that right foot flexed, cross it over, and then you're sitting back like you're sitting down in a chair. So this is pigeon pose, but we're doing it standing. So it looks like this, cross it over, sit back down into your chair, and maybe you are holding onto the wall, maybe the hands come into the heart. You can try, try your balance. So maybe you're here holding on, maybe you try your bounce. And if you notice that you're kind of rounded here, trying to like hold on, see if you can actually um, flatten the spine, push the heart forward, push the tailbone back to so get more of that flat spine. If you really want to challenge yourself, maybe you reach for the floor. And we're breathing. And again, just notice where your head goes when we get into a challenging pose. What, is your, what are your thoughts saying? And did you know that not all of your thoughts are true? I learned this recently. Life changer. <laughs> not all of your thoughts are true. So that's, that's my new thing. When I think a thought that I don't like or that is causing me pain, I ask myself, is it true? Is it true that I can't hold this pose? One more breath. And grabbing onto the wall, start to come up and cross the legs, shake it out. Let's do the other side. So bending the knees, shift the weight onto the right foot this time, pick up the left foot, cross the ankle over the knee and start to sit back in your chair. Ooh, yes. Now we're feeling it probably in the outside here. Keep breathing. Maybe you play with your bounce. Again, notice if your back is rounded, see if you can press the heart forward, press the tailbone back. Maybe you reach for the floor. Maybe you notice that this side is a little more challenging than the other side. Maybe you have a really good balance on one side and not so great on the other. And again, that's, we're just noticing, we're not judging ourselves. One more deep breath here. Sit a little lower. And carefully coming out. Ooh, yes. Shake it out. That feels good. <laughs> All right, coming up to the top of your mat. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive, lead with the heart. Come all the way down, forward fold. Again, bent knees. Inhale, halfway. Flat back, hands come to the shins or the thighs, gaze forward, exhale down. Big step back with the right foot, drop the knee. 
untuck the toes. We're gonna come up into a low lunge, inhale, arms up. So here, rather than, what we, what we tend to do in this pose is we kind of like dump into the low back here. And that's not really what we're after. We wanna start to build strength in our hips. So you wanna imagine that you could bring the inner thighs together and push down into this front foot so that now I'm not like dumping down here, but there's some strength happening here. All right, we're gonna bring the left hand to the inner left knee and kind of push the hand into the knee. So there's some resistance. The right arm's gonna reach up overhead and then we're gonna lean over to the left. So from this angle, it looks like this. So now we're stretching out the front of the hip, the psoas. All, maybe you're feeling it all the way around to the back. And take a couple breaths here. And come all the way up, reach both hands for the floor, shift the weight to the back knee, lift the front knee, or sorry, lift the front foot. So now we're stretching out the back of the leg. Send the tailbone back to the back of your mat. One more breath here. Now we're gonna turn your toes to the left side of your mat. So now we're feeling the stretch um, through the outside of the leg, possibly. One more breath here. Reach the toes back up. Go ahead and bend the knee, plant the foot. We're gonna come into a plank pose. So you can tuck the back toes, lift the knee, or you can leave the knees down. Either way, come into your plank. Remember, same thing here. If you're rounded here, see if you can come into alignment. Long line from the top of the head to the tailbone. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, let's do a little baby cobra. Heart shines forward, lifting up, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze forward, inhale, exhale, roll it down. Pushing up to all fours, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And again here, we could paddle the feet. If you like to, we're just gonna take another breath here, sinking the heels down. and walk it to the top of your mat, forward fold. Again, knees can be bent, let the head hang. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back gaze forward, and exhale down. Bend the knees, send the arms wide, inhale all the way up, and exhale, hands to heart. Take a pause here, find your breath. <sighs> let the feet sink down into the floor. Slowing the breath down. And we'll do the other side. Inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive flat back forward all the way down. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale down. <sighs> Plant the hands, bend the knees, send the left foot back, drop the knee. Untuck the toes. Same idea here. Inhale, reaching up. So again, here, see if you're dumping in or see if you can push down into that forward foot, bring the inner thighs together. Bring the right hand now to the inside of that right knee, push the hand into the knee, the knee pushes into the hand, the right, or sorry, left arm reaches up and then over to the right. And now we're here and we're breathing. One more breath and come all the way up and plant the hands down towards the foot. Shift the weight onto the back leg, straightening the front leg, lift the toes. Breathing nice and deep. Again, here, see if you can untuck the tailbone. Send the tailbone to the back of your mat. Reach the head forward and breathe. And then we're gonna turn the toes to the right side of your mat. And notice how that changes the stretch. Maybe you gotta breathe a little deeper here because this is intense. <sighs> the breath is helping us to release those stuck areas, move through that 
uncomfortable sensation. Bring the toes back up, plant the foot. And now we're gonna come back into our plank pose. So you can tuck the back toes, lift the knee, come back to plank, or you can just bring the knee back. Plank pose. Inhale in plank, heart reaches forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, push to all fours, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. And then we'll walk it to the top of your mat, forward fold. Let's do a halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale down. Bend the knees, send the arms wide, keep them all the way up, inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a pause here. Find your breath. Hmm. All right, we're almost done, folks. <laughs> Inhaling arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, down. Step back to down dog. Come to the knees and then lower all the way down to the belly. Forehead or chin on the floor, arms at your sides. From here, we're gonna inhale. As you exhale, lift the upper body. Reach the arms to the back of your mat. Reach the fingertips, shoulder blades squeeze together. Maybe the legs lift too. Breathe. One more breath. And exhale, lower. Bring your left cheek to the mat. Round the shoulders down into the floor. Let go of the legs. Take a deep breath in, side out, open mouth. <sighs> Relax the body down. Notice as you're lying here, maybe you can feel your body moving up and down with your breath. We're gonna do that one more time. Go ahead and bring your forehead or chin back to the center. Inhaling, and as you exhale, lift up. Reaching the fingers, lifting the legs. Think about lengthening towards the back of your mat rather than trying to get a lot of height and breathe. Maybe the body rocks up and down with each breath. One more breath. Exhale, lower down, other cheek to the mat this time. <sighs> Round the shoulders, let go of the legs. Deep breath in through the nose, side out. <sighs> let everything go. One more breath here. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing yourself back to child's pose. Any version of child's pose you like. And then we're gonna make our way into our final pose, Shavasana, my favorite pose. So make your way onto your back, making yourself as comfortable as you can. If we missed any poses today, or there was one that um, you really wanted to do that we didn't get to, go ahead and do that pose now. Otherwise, we're making ourselves comfortable. If you wanna cover up with a blanket, you can. If you want um, to put socks or a sweatshirt on, making yourself nice and warm and cozy. We're gonna do just a quick uh, relaxation. So starting to settle in. If you have music on, maybe switching to something soothing. Something that uh, helps you to relax and unwind. And starting to take some deep breaths, starting to relax the body down into the floor, release the shoulders. And just taking a moment, noticing how you feel after the practice of postures. Mm. 
And now bringing the awareness down to the feet, relax the feet and toes. Relax the ankles and lower legs. So imagine everything gets heavy and just starts to sink down. Relax the knees and upper legs, all the way up to the hip joints. And it's very much our culture not to, to resist relaxation. But this is really um, the key to wellness is, is stopping, slowing down, relaxing. We're taking care of ourselves today, engaging in this relaxation. So as you're lying there, the whole bottom half of the body is heavy, sinking down, relaxed. Relax all the way up into the pelvis now. So the hip bones, the low belly, the navel. Relax the glutes and the lower back. So let the tailbone kind of sink down into the floor. And now relaxing up into the middle back and then into the rib cage. So feel the rib cage relaxing, even the muscles between the ribs relax. Notice the rib cage expand as you inhale, contract as you exhale. Relax the chest, the heart and the lungs. and then bring it up into the upper back. So feel the shoulder blades sink down deeper into the floor. That space between the shoulder blades relax all the way up to the back of the neck. And now bring your sensation, your awareness into the shoulders, the joints of the shoulders relax the upper arm sinking down, the elbows and lower arms, the wrists, the hands, the fingers, the thumbs, all the way out to the tips of the fingers, heavy, warm, soft. the whole body sinking down. And now bring the awareness to the throat, soften the throat and the pit of the throat. Release the jaw, the tongue and the teeth, the lips, the cheeks, the nose and sinuses. Relax the eyes towards the back of the head, the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the space between the eyebrows, relax. The forehead, the scalp and the ears. Feeling deeply relaxed from the top of the head down to the toes. Just resting here in this moment of stillness. Allowing your body to sink down. Allowing the breath to slow down. Allowing the mind to slow down. If your mind starts to wander off, come back to your breath. 
come back to the present moment. Be here now. And now start to deepen the breath, lengthen the inhale, extend the exhale. Breathing down into the belly. Begin to become aware of the body again. And let the breath inspire some movement in the fingers and toes. Wiggling the toes and fingers. The wrists and ankles. Maybe stretching the arms up overhead. Reaching for the wall behind you. And gently making your way onto your side. And just pausing on your side for a moment as we're about to go back to your day, just noticing how you feel. Noticing and comparing from the beginning of class. So are those same um, aches or pains still there? Is that same emotional intensity still there? And that's okay if it is, we're just starting to notice. Is anything shifted? And as you're ready, taking it nice and slow, making your way back up to seated. And we'll close our class today, drawing the hands into the heart, closing the eyes, taking a deep breath in and letting it go. Thumbs pressed up against the heart center, and as we go back to our day today, taking with us anything that we um, need to from our practice today and leaving the rest behind. Anything that didn't serve you today, leaving it behind. And thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.